I'm Kelly Worthman. Thanks for joining us for CBS 4 News at 5. There is new concern gatherings this Labor Day could kick off another COVID surge. We've seen plenty of Coloradans out in large groups at events like Taste of Colorado. The latest data from the health department shows numbers we have not seen here since January, with more than 800 people hospitalized. There's also 2,100 additional cases and a seven-day positivity rate of more than 6%. Michael Abeda is live in Denver tonight at Denver International. National Airport. So, Michael, health officials again are worried about this surge. Yeah, Kelly, because you know what? People are getting together and traveling again, unlike what they were doing last year. Check out DIA right now. This is the security line. And as you can see, it's so busy that people are spilling into the hallway just to try to get through security. Now, when you're in a group this large, it's best to take precautions. People here at the airport or if you're taking a train or a bus, you have to wear a mask anyway. That's the mandate. But doctors say that may not be enough. Vaccination is the only proven way to protect yourself from COVID-19. And it's not just about you. It's about being a member of society and contributing. The long Labor Day weekend traditionally is a time for travel, festivals, and football. And overall, getting together one more time before winter rolls around. This year, despite a pandemic, seems to be no different. That's why doctors and healthcare professionals are bracing for a spike in COVID cases. The question is, are they going to be uh, consequential? Meaning, uh, are you unvaccinated and have an underlying condition? In which case, um, don't do that. Uh, if you are vaccinated and healthy and you don't interact with people who are unvaccinated and unhealthy, then I think it's a relatively safe environment for you. Dr. Richard Zane, UC Health Chief Innovation Officer and Chair of the Department of Emergency Medicine at CU School of Medicine says whether you get gravely ill or not depends entirely on if you're vaccinated. This has really become the vaccinated and the unvaccinated. The stats prove it. UC Health Hospitals are seeing that the 25% of Coloradans who are unvaccinated are making up the vast majority of their patients with COVID-19. 82% of the hospitalized patients are unvaccinated, and more than 90% of the ventilated patients in ICUs are also unvaccinated. There are some hospitalized patients who are vaccinated, but many of those patients are immunocompromised. And if you've read that there's an alternative treatment that will prevent COVID that doctors just aren't giving people, think again. Uh, ivermectin, which is a veterinary um, anti-parasitic uh, drug, has no role in the treatment or prevention of COVID. So if you want to get together this long weekend and not get a deadly disease, the solution is right in front of you. Look, the single most important thing you can do is get vaccinated. The second, third, and fourth most important thing you can do is get vaccinated. Uh, the other things still work, washing your hands, physical distancing, and wearing a mask. Uh, but getting vaccinated is by far the most single important thing you can do for yourself, for your family, for society. Now, remember, you still can get COVID if you're vaccinated, but doctors say that it's likely you won't get very sick. You can, however, still pass it along to people. That includes people who are immunocompromised or people who are not vaccinated. Some of those who just can't get vaccinated, like children. In Denver, Michael Aveta covering Colorado First.